Uh, in this video, we are going to continue with uh, part 2 of paper 1 mathematics for 2022. Uh, if you did not watch the first part, please check up and then you'll see the first part before we can actually continue with this second part. Now we're starting at number 12. Uh, the question here says that uh, Ruth pays 3 over 8 of her monthly earnings as a taxi. She pays 9,450 in tax. Calculate her monthly earnings. Now in this question, what we want to find is the income that Ruth gets per month. We are only told the amount that she pays in taxi. So the way to do this, there are actually so many ways, but uh, I can write 3 over 8. Uh, this is equals to now when we write like that it means the total is out of 8 and then we, we are only given uh, 3 of the total of the whole fraction so that 3 is equivalent to 900, uh, 9450 now what we want is what is equivalent to the total, which is out of 8. Then you can now cross multiply. We have 3x equals to 8 times 9450. Therefore, our x will now be 8 times 9450 we divide by 3 by dividing both sides by 3 then we can now use a calculator here we have we have 8 times 9450 and then we are dividing by 3 and the answer is 25200 25,200 we can put to two decimal place you can write like that what is the answer and then question 13 question 13 a grandmother gave a certain sum of money to be shared between her grandchildren Maya and Carol in the ratio 4 to 5. So what we do here, let's write, write given two people, Maya and then Kara. The ratio is 4 to 5. Now Kara received 600 Namibian dollars. Carol receives, you can see where I'm writing my 600, that is the part where Carol is, under Carol I have the ratio is 5 and then I'm giving, I'm writing the amount there and then we do not know how much Maya received. Now the question says calculate the total amount that the grandmother gave to her children Maya and Carol. Now many times people find this type of questions difficult because as soon as they get this amount they think that is the total amount. But in this case we have to get the amount that was given to Maya and after that we get the amount that was given to Maya and Carol and then we get our final answer. Now this, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to divide 600 by 5. 600 by and then I'm getting 120 I divided 600 by 5 to get 120 now why am I doing this I'm doing that I'm dividing this 600 by 5 to get 
the number that was multiplied by 5 to give me 600 because this is a direct proportion we also expect this amount here to actually increase so what I will do now I will now multiply that by 120 so 4 times 120 I'm getting 480 so Maya received 480 now the total I have to add these two the amount because we are looking for the total amount the amount that Carol received and the amount that Maya received now I can add those two then I have 480 plus 600 then the total is $1,080 $1,080 to two decimal place. You can write it like that. And that is the total which was shared between Maya and Carol. Let's proceed with question 14. Question 14 is actually on exchange rate. And please, if you do not subscribe to this channel, please do so. Uh, support my channel because uh, I will be uploading videos on mathematics almost every if not every two weeks maybe every month uh, if you are new to this channel please watch out all the other videos that i have recorded including the use of the calculator and uh, other topics there are so many topics that i have covered on this channel uh, if you have subscribed already thank you for coming back again now with number 14 mr smasiku changed 870 dollars into euros the exchange rate was one euro equals to one dollar eighteen cent calculate the amount of euros the amount of euros he receives this person changed that amount into euros so what you do first always write the exchange rate before you do anything else so the exchange rate is one euro equals to one dollar eighteen cent now we are given this amount in dollars so we put equal here and then we write whatever that we are given in dollars there and then we can now put x here we are now finding the amount in euros that's when we now cross multiply but then in this case just like what i did in the previous video i'm going to divide this by that so that i can get the amount which Mr. Smasiko received in euros. 870, I divide by $1.18, and then I'm getting 737. Let me write that amount. 737 dollar to two decimal place this will become 29 29 cents that is the amount which was received in euros and then number 15 a bus lives at nine minutes after now after one and arrives in otapi at that time how long in other words how many hours did the journey take now what you do with this question i will advise you to always use a calculator although there are too much there but this is what i do uh, let me write it this way uh, but let me just take the calculator and then put it there this is the arrival time and that is the departure time so i'll take the arrival minus the departure time using the calculator and we are going to use this button here now the arrival time it's 22 you press this button here once 
and then that is the hour and then the minutes is the seven you press the same button again that's minutes and then minus the departure time which is 13 hour and then zero nine minutes i press my equal sign the first digit indicates the hour the second indicates the minutes the last is the seconds so we don't care about the seconds since our question is asking to give the answer in hour and minutes so we just write 9 and uh, 28 minutes then you can now write whatever that you have done here you now write 22 37 minus 13.09 but if you want to do it the other way that you were taught, I think maybe in primary, you could do it this way, 37 and then 13 and then you subtract those two. You will still get the same answer as that where you are now going to subtract 7 minus 9 which cannot you borrow 1. From 3 to become 2 there and then you have 17 you have 17 minus 9 which will give you 8 which will give you 8 and then here you have 2 minus 0 it gives you 2 and then here 2 minus 3 it cannot it will give you uh, it will give it won't give you anything but then we take 1 from 2 and then it becomes 12 then these 12 minus 3 gives you 9. 1 minus 1 gives you 0. So the answer remains 9 minutes, 9 hours, 28 minutes. So you can still do it this way. It's either you do it that way with a calculator or you can do it this way. You get all your marks. And then number 16. Can invest this two thousand at a rate of three percent. No three, yeah, three, three percent per year simple interest. Calculate the total interest gain has after six months. This is simple interest. First, you write the formula for simple interest. Depending on the country where you are from. This formula may, may be different, maybe some they divide the R by 100, yeah, they do a lot of things, but the answer remains the same. Now the P stands for the principal amount, which is the money the person invested. The R is the rate, and T is for time, and the time should always be in years. Not in months, not in days, but always in years. Maybe I need to indicate that in years. And then we we'll divide by 100 because what we want is the total interest because this total interest comes monthly but after six months then we can now say total interest now we now write interest equals to the principal amount is 2000 times the rate is three percent times the time in years we are given six months six months is half a year it's half a year or you could, you could write six over maybe let's do it this way six over twelve six months out of the total months in a year and then we divide by hundred and we take our calculator then we have 2000 times 3 times 6 over 12 over 100 the answer is 30 so the total interest is 30 dollars and then we have number 17 this is uh, this topic is on limits of accuracy no rounding 
always you don't round you don't round answers on limits of accuracy the length of a rope is 8.3 centimeter correct to one decimal place complete the statement for the length of a rope so what you do here you write 8 to one decimal place you write 0 0.1 over 2 you get 0 